started in 2008, CommonFloor.com has definitely created a niche for itself. The co-founders are known for the humility in the industry. And today we have with us Mr. Vikas Malpani, who is one of the co-founders and also the head of Common Flow Groups. Thank you for joining us, Vikas, today. With recent investment of 2.5 million in flat chat, what are the new technology initiatives and partnerships which Common Floor is looking up to? What we have done for us internally, we have a complete um, life cycle of our consumers, our partners like developers, brokers, etc. So we map this and point out certain problems that we see here. And we keep our eyes and ears open on what are technologically different things coming up or a new startups coming up across the globe who are solving the problem differently. Besides that, we keep we are very open to do partnership, etc. Et for example, we partner with Zomato for the foodie index for the locality. We believe it's a very good indicator for someone who's looking to rent out in that locality what kind of restaurants and what is the foodie index for them. Uh, Zippert partnered with us to have a very easy way of actually listing the property. So we generally are open to those, those partnerships and we take it as it comes. What is this next big trend which Common Floor is aligning itself to? Actually, we would see that all of uh, the real estate market is season, seasonal or rather I would say cyclic, not really seasonal. right? So when the sentiments are down, people would like to rent out more. When the sentiments are up, people would like to buy more. Right? So both are catered at Common Floor. The governments also do not know uh, what's happening under their nose. Right? or they do not have the data, data to do a lot of these big data analysis on what kind of infrastructure load and stress will happen in, let's say, Sarjapur because in five years this much, this much supply will come there and these many people will be living. So we are also trying to help do research and help educate government saying, look, this is what we can do for you. There is a certain sentiment of dissatisfaction which people usually have when it comes to real estate platforms. What is Common Floor really doing this to ward this away? So today the challenge is that you don't have really good professionals. If you get a really good professional to help you there, you'd be really happy. So as consumers in last, so we have been around for seven and a half years, what we have seen the consumer expectation after the advent of technology related startups has gone from here to here. Everything has to be instant gratification. Today, consumer expectations needs to be managed. You also need to really find good professionals and do this matchmaking. It's a tough problem. It's not going to get solved very quickly. So there are media speculations today in the market that Quicker might acquire Common Flow. What do you have to say about it? See, our objective always is to be upfront and honest. If we have something to say, we will say. At this point of time, all of this is speculation. So I would rather not comment on it. When I have anything to say about anything, I will come and talk to you and discuss it over a coffee. But does these speculations get to you? See, it definitely creates, creates uh, disruption because a lot of people lose a lot of productive hours. Right? But it is, we, as we as founders, we as uh, entrepreneurs have realized that it could be anything that could cause this. Right? But don't you think there will be consolidation in this space? See, every industry or a business has their own cycles that way. right? And they have their own choices that they need to make. Uh, what they are saying is very right, right? The, house, the real estate segment, specifically the residential real estate, which is 80 billion, and we uh, we are looking at uh, about 180 billion in the next five to 10 years, is very exciting. No one has figured it out 100%. As I said, the next 100 million is something that we are looking to aim at. And everyone wants to build the strength to aim at that. So if they are saying that, I think they are right in what they are saying. What do you think will happen in case of a consolidation if we are saying a consolidation happens? Everything is business cycles, right? Consolidation had happened earlier also. Consolidation will happen tomorrow also. You never know. Businesses work that way, right? Business always works that way, right? It is cyclic. It is expands contracts, expands contracts. That is the nature of business. As an organization, whatever we do, our decisions are always keeping our employees in mind, our customers and consumers in mind. We want, we would like to build a company that does best, which is fair and really, really creates value and impact in the ecosystem. That is our guiding principles. So if we are doing anything and we are doing on those principles, we will be happy. Thank you for speaking to your story, Vikas. Thank you, Arush. Thank you very much. Welcome to the show, Sandy. Tell us, how is the cloud ecosystem going to change the way we look at businesses? Well, I think there's um, several things that the cloud is doing. You know, before, when people, startups, got funding, they invested most of their money, estimates are 60 to 70% in the infrastructure, in the technology. 
Today, with the cloud, they can spend virtually zero dollars. Started by two friends, Piyush and Tuhin, Jumping Goose is a strategic design agency based out of Bengaluru. Calling themselves an idea tree, the firm provides cutting-edge design solutions across domains of apparel, product design, brand building, space design, communication, and packaging design. 